God for this beautiful day that he has made. I will rejoice and I will also be glad in it. My name is Adi Ajayi, by the grace of God, the parish pastor of ASSAJ Thanksgiving House based in Chelmsford, Essex, United Kingdom. And we are reflecting from the Open Heavens Daily Devotional Guide written by Pastor E. Adebe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God Worldwide. The topic is Making Your Marriage Work Part One. I repeat, Making Your Marriage Work Part One. And that Bible passage is taken from the Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21 to 25. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. A memory verse, taken from the book of Proverbs chapter 31, verse 10, who can find a virtuous woman? for our price is far above rubies. Let us reflect. Knowing fully well that the home is the foundation of any society, in the next two days, we are considering some marital issues. This is under the very important headline, making your marriage work. This is very instructive because many people think that their marriages are meant to work with working on it. That is a very strong and, and deceptive assumption. I also observed that a marriage relationship at the time, and my summary of what was happening between the couples was that no one was really working on the marriage. It was such a beautiful marriage, but left uncultivated. It was like a garden that no one tended and has overgrown by weeds. Each person was doing what was taught to be convenient. However, if you want to make your marriage work, listen, you must have a determination to make the marriage work and allow it to blossom. There must be a commitment from both sides. This word will be the thrust of what we shall be discussing on this platform in the next two days. In fact, from the Bible passage that we read earlier, verse 21 instructed not to be in many of our Bibles because the injunction from the book of Ephesians 5.21 is that we need to submit one to another. Husbands are to love their wives in such a sacrificial way that the Lord loves his church and ready to lay down his life for the church. The question I then want to ask you uh, or that follows is this. What if my wife is a bad wife or not very good? The position is that the church has also not been perfect, but Jesus still loves the church and gave his life for the church. Wives are to submit to their own husbands in everything. This is not a suggestion to submit in some things while you are in control of other things. You are not allowed to choose the area of submission or the areas of your self-governance. This is why many marriages are not working. God wants us to enjoy our marriages. This is only possible if we are ready to be mutually submissive and love according to the scripture in a sacrificial manner. I pray you would work cooperatively together to have a blossom marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Our action point, take a practical step of voluntary submission to your husband as unto the Lord, and the Lord will give you a peaceful home. For the rest of this year and the years ahead of you, you will celebrate the goodness of God in your home and your home will be peaceful as you put this into practice. God bless you. Have a glorious day.
Bye for now.